Thank you for joining us for Seasons of Change, a concert program curated by Garrett McQueen. This concert is sponsored in part by Hunt Utilities and Happy Dancing Turtle. Thank you to our team of producers who help cover the costs of digital production. Executive producers John Sullivan, Carol Cook, and David marlis Tees, And associate producers Chuck and Nancy Schatzko, Chris and Joanne Rutger, Leslie Zander, and Don and Cheryl Karlgaard. All Lake Erie Music Festival activities are made possible by the voters of Minnesota through grants from the Minnesota State Arts Board and the Five Wings Arts Council, thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Hello and welcome again to Seasons of Change. My name is Garrett McQueen and it's a real pleasure to be your host and curator for today's concert. Huge thanks to everyone at the Lakes Area Music Festival for having me and for helping me realize this musical vision for you. As much as we've all gotten used to all things virtual, at least to some degree, I know it'll never quite be the same as being in person for a concert, but nonetheless, we're all really grateful to have you here today. So when I was asked to curate this show, I swirled all sorts of ideas around in my head. Maybe a piano celebration or a mix of strings and maybe even music for voice. Well, what I finally came to was a celebration of a sort of musical configuration that I think goes overlooked sometimes, especially when you consider how dominating the string quartet is to Western classical music. The sort of ensemble I'm talking about is the Woodwind Quintet or the Wind Quintet. It actually has a history that's really long. I'll tell you a little bit about that a little later in today's show, but I thought that we would start closer to this end of the musical timeline in this 21st century. A lot has changed since the days of classical music centuries past, and one of those things, thankfully, is that music by women is finally taking its rightful place in the repertoire and on concert stages. You can't talk for too long about this season of change, this sort of programmatic and repertoire season of change without bringing up the one and only Jennifer Higdon. In 2010, she won the Pulitzer Prize for her violin concerto, one of the many accolades to her name. Well, about a decade and a half before that, she wrote a woodwind quintet called Autumn Music. Here are a few of our friends down in Atlanta to show you how it goes. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Rainey. I absolutely love the Lakes Area Music Festival and can't wait to be back there again sometime soon. Today I'm in Atlanta, Georgia at Rail Art Studios with my Atlanta Symphony colleagues. Hi, I'm Andrew Brady, Principal Bassoon of the ASO. Hello, I'm Laura Ardan, Principal Clarinet in the ASO. Hi, I'm Liz Tishon, Principal Oboist of the Atlanta Symphony. Hi, my name is Christina Smith and I'm the Principal Flutist of the Atlanta Symphony.
How'd you enjoy that work by Jennifer Higdon? Autumn music. Really incredible composition, isn't it? A really incredible performance of it, too, by our friends down in Atlanta. Bravo to all of those performers. So that work, Autumn Music, was actually inspired in part by an earlier composition for Wind Quintet called Summer Music. I'll tell you more about that work a little later in today's show, but for right now, I want to take you to the very, very, very early days of the Wind Quintet. You see, back in the mid to late 18th century over in Europe, strings ruled the roost, at least when it came to chamber music for the most part. Everyone's heard of a string quartet, right? There weren't many composers writing chamber music for winds alone, but one man named Franz Donzi decided that people needed to hear what a flute, oboe, clarinet, bassoon, and a horn could do together. Yet another one of those seasons of change in Western classical music, right? Here's a performance of one of the many wind quintets by the late Franz Donzi. Musicians from the Milwaukee Symphony are featured here. Good evening. My name is Katherine Chen, and I'm the principal bassoon of the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. This evening's performance is set in Milwaukee at the beautiful and historic Pfister Hotel. I've been to Lakes Area Music Festival for two summers, and I love going to LAMF because of the Brainerd community and the world-class musicians that attend. The best part for me is being able to share my passion with others in a beautiful place and that's what makes me want to keep coming back. I'm joined tonight with my colleagues in the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra. Hi, my name is Benjamin Adler, and I'm a clarinetist. Hello, my name is Darcy Hamlin, and I play the French horn. Hi, I'm Katie Steele, and I play the oboe. Hi, I'm Heather zinninger yarmel and I play the flute, the alto flute, and the piccolo. Thank you. 
So, as promised, I have a little summer music to share with you. It's a work by Mr. Samuel Barber. I'll let you hear that after I heat things up in a slightly different way. Maybe you know the name Josephine Baker. She was an American-born Afro-French entertainer whose most infamous performance featured the late uh, Madame Baker in a banana skirt and not much else, if you remember. <laughs> well, her career as an entertainer was groundbreaking, but it's important to remember that Josephine Baker was also a part of the French resistance against Nazi Germany, and she even came back to the United States to aid in black civil rights. A little known fact is that Josephine Baker spoke at the same event that would give birth to the phrase, I have a dream. Yes, she was actually the only woman to hold the stage at the 1963 March on Washington, a really important bit of women's history there. Well, to honor and to celebrate Josephine Baker, composer Valerie Coleman wrote this, a work titled, simply enough, Portraits of Josephine.
The final movement of that work by Miss Valerie Coleman is subtitled, Thank You, Josephine, and I couldn't agree more. May we always honor the legacy of Josephine Baker and the music written to help all of us do just that. Well, we're just about to the end of today's concert, Seasons of Change, and I saved the warmest of my selections for last. Or have I? Around this time, oh, about 65 years ago, a man named Samuel Barber was asked to write a piece of music for the Chamber Music Society of Detroit. Now, like Minnesota, Detroit is still pretty chilly around this time of year, but I guess Mr. Barber was feeling hopeful for those seasons to change when he started to think of titles for this new piece of music. The original plan for it was to be a work for winds and strings, but at its March 20th premiere in 1956, the work that was finished and premiered featured winds alone. As a woodwind player myself, I can definitely say that this one is one of the more celebrated wind quintet works in the entire repertoire. It's called Summer Music. Take a listen. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for joining us and thanks to Garrett, the musicians and the composers featured today for bringing this music to life for our LAMF audience. We invite you to help spread the word about this program and about the Lakes Erie Music Festival by sharing this program with friends and family across the globe. Today's concert brings our winter series to a close. As we look ahead, stay tuned for more information about our 2021 season running July 30th through August 22nd with concerts live in Brainerd, Minnesota and streaming online. <laughs>